song by the OJs. They smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. The backstabbers. Backstabbers. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Have you ever felt like somebody was jealous or envious of you, especially uh, when that negativity comes from another woman? Joining us in our My Life series to give you a dose of empowerment so that you can ditch the cattiness with other women is performance hypno coach Amy. Amy, Amy, good to see you. Welcome to the show. Good to see you too. That kind of does make you want to dance. Like, uh, uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when you get to the backstabbers part, no, that's no, when no. the reality of it comes in. And it's interesting because women tend to be, not all women, but there tends to be a certain level, right, of, of cattiness that can come out, and I'm not really sure what it is or what causes it. How can we avoid that and just kind of keep the peace? All right, awesome. It is when women aren't feeling worthy. There's a lot of times, as a hypno coach, I take people from amateur to professionals, and when they don't understand the stories that are going on in their head, they get jealous, they get envious, they do the backstabbing. So we are actually in a lot of roles as women. We're mothers, we're wives. The thing that we have to realize is we don't want to play games and play those roles, mm -hmm. which are victim, prosecutor, rescuer. Honestly, from a personal perspective, sometimes I feel a little bit left out of the circle because I'm not that girl. I'm not the caddy, the back, the gossipy. I really just try to completely remove myself from that. And sometimes that can be very isolating, because I'm sure you've heard other women say. And I know that you're the founder of a nonprofit. It's called Woo Woo Women, the name I love. Woo Woo! And it stands for Women Uplifting Women Unconditionally. You're a woman, I'm a woman. We've seen these kinds of things happen. What steps can we take as women to empower ourselves? Very important. You work in a corporate setting. I go and actually consult at a lot of corporations where this can be a problem. This stops actually taking you to the next level in the performance of the corporation. You mean not being a part of that whole can actually, actually stop? the backstabbing. So what you can do to not be part, you are a professional. That just says that you are at a professional level mm -hmm. because you know what you want and you know where you're going. How you avoid that is getting really clear about what you want. Mm -hmm. It's I use a tool all the time called dreampathfinder.com. You can go on there and build your dream board. Every one of my clients I recommend it to. Because when you know what you want, the cattiness goes away because they just, you're focused on what you want. So it's not isolating because you'll attract the people that you choose to to help enroll you in your dream. And the way you cannot be isolated, ask them what are their dreams? Mm. And I think Zig Ziglar always said, if you help enough people get what they want, you too will get what you want. I love that. But you know, it's as an adult, I yes. can understand what you're saying, take it away and, and, and utilize that. What about young girls? What can moms tell their daughters? Oh, I, I have a daughter, she's 10 years old, and all the time, she already has her own dream board, she knows what she wants, and I say, Mary, anytime people tell you you can't do it, that is fuel for your fire. Reframe that and say, I can do it even better. Mm -hmm. It's just teaching your young daughters how to take the words that other people say and translate them into the language in your mind that gives you the power. How long does it take to kind of see results from this? I mean, certainly this isn't something that overnight you're gonna wake up in the morning and, and say, okay, I'm gonna do this and it's gonna work. It's a process, right? It's a process. When, when I used to coach Olympic archery, it's the same thing. If you're out there and you wanna make an Olympic game, it's the same, you're winning the Olympic game in life. So you have to train every day on your mental toughness. If you stop going to the gym, you get flabby. It's the same thing at the mental gym in your mind. So you have to know exactly what your dreams are. That's your target. You have to be able to articulate it and communicate it to everyone and stand in your power and practice it so that you make those dreams become a reality. Mm -hmm. Stay on target. You stay on target, but when can we expect that to become instantly. permanent? Instantly. Really? Oh, it starts instantly, and it's life's a journey, right? Not the destination, but right. instantly changes take place because the hypnosis, once you understand behind it, you have instant results. How does hypnosis help you become empowered? That's, I love hypnosis. Can you tell the passion yeah, yeah, yeah. hypnosis? <laughs> because once you understand what those stories are, like if you're playing victim, prosecutor, rescuer, that's just one small story. The mind's job is to protect you. Everything that you've learned in your subconscious from when you were born is here to protect you. And once you realize that it's telling the wrong stories, you become free. And once you become aware of it, you can shift it and change it. So hypnosis is so powerful because it's focused concentration and it shows you how to get what you want. Great information, Amy. Very quickly, about 20 seconds left. What would you like to leave our viewers with? You can do it. 
Find it, focus, follow through. I thought she almost had me under hypnosis there. You can do it, and I believe I can. Thank you, Amy, for coming by and sharing this great information with us this morning. Thank you so much. Amy. And get more inspiration and tools to empower yourself and others by logging on to amyemme.com. -E